Thanks for checking out our channel. Here's going to be a, um, hopefully, a repair video on this unit. This is a Gallagher MPE2. I think MPE stood for Mains Powered Energizer, which is a mains means 100, you know, AC power. So this is a 110, 120 volt unit. Uh, not a very big unit. Power-wise, it probably will only put out about four or 5,000 volts peak. And joule-wise, a joule, joule and a half. So um, not a very... A potent unit uh, comparable to some larger ones that were out during the same time this one was this unit came out uh, the MPE 2 version model came out in like 84 85 and it was around up until about 89 and then they discontinued it so it went around for about five years uh, they had an MPE model that uh, was a predecessor before this one that shared the same board and that was about it uh, the capacitor and transformer it was all different. It was a lot bigger unit. It was a lot taller, a little bit wider, a lot taller. So a different layout altogether. And that model was out in probably in the 70s all the way to about 83, 84 when it came out with this model. So I think the MPE2 generation was around 10 years, 12 years or so um, all together between the two versions. Um, so we're going to uh, pull this thing apart here. I'm looking for another screwdriver. Uh, I don't know what the story is with it. It is intended for repair, so I'm not going to plug it in. I'm just going to open it up. Oh, covered in cobwebs on the inside. Let's see if there's a date on the inside here. Let's set this case off the side here. It's basically like an M800 Bev3, but a lot smaller guts, you know, smaller capacitor, smaller board. Oh, here we go. 1983, October 7th of 1983 is when this unit was built. So it's 41 years old. Almost. October's coming up here before too long. Um, well, I see some black stuff underneath the board here. So I'm going to pull that board out and see what it looks like underneath. Oh, yeah. This is a lightning protection board. That's what this board is, an early version. Um, it's just, you know, your power indi output indicator lights are burned out, which that's cosmetic. We can change those out. But it's burnt up here and here. But I think if we clean that up we, everything else, and change out those, this board might be okay. These little things here, these, these are like early versions of varistors or MOVs. Those look fine. They're not cracked or burned up. So you can see the spark gap inside here did his job. See it burned right across here is your ground terminal. This is your high output power terminal for the fence. You see it come in there and went right across there to ground, or right across this way to ground. And uh, hopefully did its job and protected the transformer and sacrificed a little bit of that, but we can clean that up maybe and hopefully everything will be fine. So let's get our multimeter out. We're gonna check the capacitor because it looks like it's original. It's got the old style strap they used to use, like a basically a big zip tie type of thing. And they went to a different style of that in the 90s, so this is probably the original um, strap, the original capacitor. Let's uh, check the primary and secondary side of the transformer. That's good. I don't know what the black one's supposed to be. Uh, 10 on, I don't know. That might be okay, I don't know. Let's check the, um, all the output secondaries are all different between every brand. All right, it's reading 28.2 out of uh, 30. We'll probably go ahead and change it still because it's 40 years old. And it may show good with the inside capacity stuff, whatever. Let you look, stuff might be breaking down, so it'll be good to change out a 40-year-old capacitor. And we'll put a new one in there. Um... Well, let's plug it in as it sits, and we'll put a tester across the top here and see what we get out of it. Well, it doesn't even come on, and there's no fuse on there. All right. Well, issue with the board. I imagine we could, you know, we check the AC power coming in to make sure we're getting power there, but... Core looks okay. My power cord looks like it's plugged in all the way. Let's check and make sure we're getting 120 volts. Looks like it's right there and there. 
112, 15 volt, whatever. So that's fine. All right, so let's move that aside. Look at this circuit board here. They can't buy brand new boards for this model. They're long gone, discontinued. Ah, 87. So the board's been replaced once before, but it is, you know, 35 some years old. So uh, board was manufactured on, I'm gonna guess, uh, February 9th of 87, because uh, Gallagher does it a month and day backwards from what we do. So it would be, you'd think it'd be September 2nd. Well, no, it's February 9th. The 9th of February of 87 when this board was built. So it's been, you know, built 83 or whatever it was. So the board was changed up four years later. Probably power surge, something got a hold of it. Well, um, start doing some checks. Let's check this big white resistor here. It's a 10 watt, 27 ohm, 27 on the dot. Let's check the two diodes here. Good. Let's check this big white resistor up here. 26.7 out of 27. All right. Oh. No, what's in there? Let's see, this is a two microfarad capacitor. Well, that's reading nothing. Right, so let's change that. Start simple and work your way deeper into it. No reason to keep dicking around with it, just we'll do what we need to do first and then we'll proceed from there. Alright, this has got, oh yeah, this has got all that, it's got that big solder pad on there, it's got a great big pad there and then, I'm going to see if I can freshen up the solder real quick, make, make you do a little easier. I don't think they used a conformal coating on this stuff back in the day. Solder, desolder braid. All right, let's see if we can desolder this off here. It's got a lot of solder on it. If we can get majority off of it off there, we can probably push that tab up. That's part of the capacitor. Lift it, lift it up out of there. All right, let's get, let's try that. Let's um, get a flat, small flat screwdriver. Heat this up. Okay, that one's up. See if we can see which way does it go? Up that way. Let's see if it'll pull out of there. There we go. Alright. I think it got not the same looking capacitor, but the same exact size. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Alright, here's the new capacitor. 
same exact rating as this one, just a different package. So we're just going to stick it across there in the same big old hole that that thing had. Like that, I'm just going to... Come on, hold still. Just going to bend it across. Ow, a little warm. Cool off for a second so that way the solder hardens up. All right, let's put this back on. Uh, Put it back in here. Come on, get in there. What is it? Oh. That's why. There it goes. All right, let's uh, plug it in. See if these lights turn on green. Here, should be a green light there. There it goes. So just a wore out capacitor on the board, it's 30 plus years old and finally quit. All right, so let's uh, test across this transformer here. Now, like I said, this peak voltage output out of this unit was right around five, four and a half to five. If you look at the thing inside here, 5.1 kV. You know, on average, about 4.5 to 5 is what I always seem to get out of these things. Um, now, Gallagher themselves don't work on these old ones. They just, they don't. And, uh, I mean, look how easy of a fix that was. And uh, we still got to do some working on this board. We got to clean it up, replace the little bulb. So, not a big deal there. But, you know, if this went to Gallagher, yeah, they wouldn't have gone that deep with it. It would have took about two minutes and call them up. Hey, you want to buy a $200, $250 new one? Now we're going to get a little bit higher KV out of it across the transformer. We're in about low, lower five because that output board's not in there. And that, this does put a little bit of a load on the the transformer because it's going right across the terminals there. So that's that's normal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spread these apart a little bit because they've been burned up. And I'm going to widen up that gap some so that way they don't accidentally arc towards each other. And then we can do a little cleaning. Actually, here what we'll do is pop this out of there. And how you do that is hit downwards on it. Well, usually, it's been in there a while, it doesn't want to come out. And I don't want to break it. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. As I pop that out of there, usually if they come right out. I usually hit them two, three times and it'll just bust right out of there. It's going to snap in there, snap in there at the top, but it's uh, fighting me. Okay, let's uh, clean this board up too. We'll get all this black 
set stuff off there. It's, I think it's just cosmetic because there's no traces right there. Good. We'll change up those bulbs in a second, but let's put this board back in there. You probably might be able to see those bulbs flash, but they're burned out, so maybe not. Still flashing, they're burned out. We're going to change them. But let's put our tester across here. Wire across fence and our full power, which is a red terminal on ground. See, a little bit less than five. Between four and a half and five, right where it's supposed to be. The only other thing I'm going to do, I, I'm going to, I am going to replace that capacitor in it. You know, it's already in here. We're already in the middle of it. Yeah, it does test 28 out of 30, which isn't bad. Uh, but it's, it's 40 years old, so you don't know how long the longevity of the inside of that thing is going to last. You know, and I don't want to, you know, fix it now. Leave it as is. Change up the bowls. Yep, done. And then send it back to them, and then four months later it quits again because the capacitor finally wore out. You know, so I'm already in it. You know, capacitor. We put a new one in there. It probably lasts another 30 plus years. You know, 20 years or so. You know, on these capacitors. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm trying to find my. That's what I'm looking for. Needs to be a big zip tie. Gotta snap it. Yeah. See, it's still. It's still glued in there from when they put that put in front of the fact you got this sticky glue residue on there. And then we gotta get that strap hold up here. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Alright. That crashing feels light, like it's the oomph inside of it is depleted. It's pretty light feeling. They'll usually feel a little bit denser when they're new, but that feels a little light. All right, let me go grab another capacitor. All right, this is one I must have used for, for testing and didn't end up finishing using it or need it for something else. So it's already got some wire solder on there, but that's what we're going to put in there. Now this wire is going to be way too short, so I'm going to desolder and pull or heat that solder up and knock that wire off. All right, see this? black wire is long enough to reach over this one. You reuse that. Probably put the trans... I'm going to reposition this black wire though. Like the angle that it's at. We're going to put it this way. Come on. Okay. Put that there. Which these both these wires going to reach? Yeah, they both reach, but it's just uh, let's see. Make sure this wire is going to reach all the way there. And it should. Right, we're going to pull this wire since it's a little shorter. And then we're going to snip off. That. Strip this back a little bit. Ow. And then let's see how long this wire this this is. Let me get my um right back. We're gonna Looking for something that I don't have it over here on my maybe it's on my dad's bench. Hold on, I gotta go, I gotta go grab something real quick off a different bench. All right. So I'm going to put some double-sided foam on the back there. And then we're going to 
put that right there. And then we'll take this thick black zip tie, thread it through. Okay, passers in there. Solder iron still powered up. Some time out. Let's add some solder here. Tend the wire here. Heat those two up together. There we go. Let's see how much this wire do we want to cut off. Right there. Spay connector. The other one is on the other way. Come on, what's going on? This again. Come on, fight me. I don't know, I don't like this, like, like it's not going on all the way. Looks like there's something, little tab things inside there's popped up or whatever grabs keeps it in place. That's, I don't like that. It's freaking not too short. No, it should reach still. Before I crimp it on there, let's make sure it goes all the goes on all the way. That's what I'm looking for right there. So now we got this black wire here. Goes right there. Snake it back around here. And we're gonna snip off a little bit what we don't need. We'll cut this a little long so I have a little room to breathe. Oops, bumped the camera. All right, let's 
goes underneath the neutral side of the power cord wire. can't see it this this hold down deal right here let me just my screwdriver is too small big for it this is going to be too small yep can freaking turn it well we're going to have to make do let's just move it another way let's move it another way so you can see it come on get on there All right. All right. Well, if I did everything right, should plug it in. Should go right back to working again. All right. Well. I'm going to call this one done on the, at least the video part of things. I am going to take this board back off and desolder and solder on new light bulbs, which is a pretty painless job. And there's no reason to film that, doing that. I'm going to just pull bulb, bulbs off, put new ones on, call it done. And then we'll call the customer up and give them the quote on it. I'm sure he'll fix it. Pretty cheap fix for the thing. The most expensive part of the repair is the capacitor, you know, but the, that little capacitor is cheap. Cleaning the board and labor and all that is pretty cheap. Uh, for what we're doing. Um, if you got any questions, you're welcome to get hold of me. Um, you got one of these old Gallagher? Send it on in. Let me take a look at it for you. We work at a lot of old stuff. Like I said, Gallagher wouldn't even touch these things. They too old. They won't. They don't work on anything older than 20 years. Uh, basically, it seems like. But anyways, um, give me a call back or you know hit me up on there. Send something to us. Be happy to look at it for you. Subscribe, like the video, that whole jargon. Till next time, see you guys later on. Bye bye.